Hello there clients and Cybertech app users. In this review we'll analyze the aspects of using our software. The recommended operating system is Windows 10. However, some customers use older versions of this OS. We don't recommend that. Windows 10 is your optimal choice. To make it easy to install the version after 1.7 from scratch, delete the LazyWall folder located on Drive C in Program Data. Let's get acquainted with the app. First of all, let's note that it has a clear hierarchy of users. The administrator can create user profiles and give them certain rights. He can also block access to the most important rights that only he needs. Each user can choose a password and an icon. The program has five main sections. The first one is Game Settings. Cybertech features 21 built-in scenarios and the ability to edit them and create your own. If you click on the question mark, you will see the description of the scenario. It will allow you to quickly refresh the main points without opening the entire tree of settings. Also, if you have made changes to the scenario yourself, here you can change the description. Any new instructor will join the working process as quickly as possible by reading short descriptions in the program. Next, Dynamic Parameter Editor. These are the most frequently used parameters that can be changed quickly without going to the tree of settings. Each scenario has an option. All changes you make through dynamic parameters are immediately displayed in the full editor. In addition to those quick settings, you can change the round time as quickly as possible right from the home screen. Some experienced users don't know that or don't use it. Sometimes the function is very helpful. Game cost. To make correct reports, you need to insert the cost before each game. At the same time, if for example a party or a large company of guests ordered several game rounds in a row, it's more appropriate to insert the total cost before the first game. In this case, you won't have to fill the price data later. That really saves time. In addition to 22 built-in scenarios, there are some special service ones. They help connect and configure additional devices. Background Music Editor For each scenario, you can select background music from the list or disable it altogether, if you use a third-party player or even an external system. Also, it's possible to add any of your tracks. To do that, go to the settings of any scenario, select a file from your computer and add it to your background music playlist. It will appear in that menu in the future. Let's go back to the game settings. The allocation of players can be done automatically or manually. The process is intuitive. The signal level and battery charge are displayed next to each game set. You can also add a new player to the current game round by simply dragging and dropping him from the bottom panel. Let's analyze a more complex and unusual situation. If the battery of some game set is low, we can make a replacement on the go. Click on three dots and select Replace by. Select Replacement Game Set, change the player's vest and he's back in combat and your game statistics is saved. If the player accidentally turned off the tagger, it's advisable to return it to the game using the Restart option. For Notifighters we have the Penalty function. By clicking on it, we can reduce the number of those players' rating points. The value can be edited either in Dynamic Properties or in the Scenario Editor. Another feature in the first and largest section is the glow between games. When it's active, vests constantly glow in non-game time. That allows you to make beautiful photos after the event, as well as quickly and easily allocate players to teams before the new game. Each vest will glow with the individual team color. Rename players. You can quickly rename players using the Tab key. Use this option to refresh the lists according to the names of customers or their nicknames. And don't forget to rename teams themselves, each unites players very much. If the players like default nice-looking nicknames, we can reset all the settings. In addition, you can change the parameters in the team settings. You can change the damage of hit zones, time parameters, which by the way are changed to the most comfortable for most arena visitors. The optimal ratio of shock time and invulnerability is set by default. We wouldn't recommend changing it. In general settings, everything is the same. Colors, glow frequency, affected areas and virtual lives. Note, the affected areas in this case are responsible only for the color indication. In case of contact, only the hit zone of the entire vest will glow. Now, the second section, device settings. We strongly recommend that you rename your device to make it clear where it is. This way you can avoid confusion among devices. The channel of each device must be unique, don't forget it. In the second tab you can make fine adjustment of game sets for players, brightness, volume, power 
and the other hand sensor. And also here you can set the standard names of sets. The third section, sounds. The sound effects are already set and optimized. We don't recommend changing or editing them. But if you want, of course, you can introduce changes in this section. The fourth section is statistics. The information is displayed in the form of a graph or list. You can browse data by time. Don't forget to specify the price of each game to get the most useful information from the statistics section. In the list you can select a specific one, see the details, send it to print and export to social networks. The last section is settings. Here you can change the appearance, add your background and logo to the dashboard, create headers for printouts, configure monitors. You can decide which of them will display the dashboard with statistics or the admin panel. For proper operation and display of online statistics, you need at least two monitors. If you use one monitor for configuration and testing, as I'm doing now, you can disable the dashboard by pressing Alt-Tab and the cross on this window. Here we can disable the output window, which asks to print statistics after each game and show the rating. This is the window that appears alternately with the statistics in the dashboard. A very important tab – Recovery. For example, you are going to change your computer or reinstall the operating system. Or maybe you want just to transfer data from one PC to another. First, export the settings, databases and scenarios and then input them in the new program. The About Program tab is just for information purposes. Here you can find links to our website, social networks and user guide. If you have any questions, you can always contact us by means of those channels. Good luck and enjoy the fights! See you soon!